Okay, you guys, uh, special day today. We're talking about California coming back, uh, and that is coming back from the brink and uh, standing for what California ought to stand for. We have with us uh, Governor Candidate John Cox, and um, be praying that he wins. As normal, you guys have been texting in your questions, and um, here they are. John, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, number one, what steps will be taken uh, by you to balance the state budget? You know, our uh, government right now in Sacramento is basically captured by a lot of special interests that use it to spend a lot of extra money for themselves, and they don't want to clean up the, uh, the problems in Sacramento. First of all, we've got to make sure we fund our pensions. We've got to get rid of the waste and corruption. California last year spent $6 billion on overtime. In the business world, we try to minimize overtime because that's expensive, that's inefficient. And so we've got to make sure that we incentivize all levels of state government to make sure that we don't have extra overtime, that we have, don't have layers of supervisors on supervisors. We also have to make sure that all the technology is upgraded. I don't know how many of you have been to the DMV lately. <laughs> I've been to a whole bunch of them, and I've seen people waiting hours and hours and hours, and we've had to put extra personnel, which is also blowing the budget. We've got to make sure that we upgrade our technology and our computer systems, and we haven't been doing that, and that's a lot of the waste that's been going on in Sacramento. Excellent. Number two, what would you do about sanctuary cities being enacted in California? You know, the sanctuary cities thing was done to, to make it appear to be favoring a certain interest group, but really what it's doing is making Californians feel a lot less safe. Because I've talked to sheriffs who tell me that they've got people that they know are gang members and yeah. they know are in the criminal mischief, but because of the sanctuary law, they can't inform ICE. Well, I'm going to tell you, if you've got anybody in your neighborhood and they're engaged in illegal activity, you, we need to make sure that they are gone from California. We want to live in peace. We want to welcome all people from all over the world who want to come to America and become Americans and help America. But anybody who's here for criminal purposes should be gone and shouldn't even be in this state. The place to check someone's papers, by the way, is at the border. Yeah not in our classrooms or in um, their front yards. I don't want my family stopped to check for papers, and I don't think we ought right. to be doing that everywhere. We ought to be doing it at the border and make sure that we know who's coming into this country and that they're not coming here for criminal purposes. What I love about what John just said is I can't go into any country in the world without them checking my papers. I can't get into Germany. I can't get into England. You can't get into any country without uh, the right papers, even including Mexico. Yeah. Right. Third question, what will you do to obtain and increase businesses in California? In other words, bringing them back, what, what are you going to do? You know, the tax burden, everybody's complaining about the tax burden, and it's outrageous. We're the highest tax state in the country. But the biggest problem for business is regulations. And all these bureaucracies keep putting on more regulations because it makes them more important. As a matter of fact, most of these bureaucrats feel like we work for them rather than the other way around. <laughs> what we need to do is streamline these regulations, incentivize the bureaucracy to get approvals done quicker. The reason our housing costs so much money is because of the regulations and the approval process and the lawsuits. That's the other thing about doing business in California is all the frivolous lawsuits. And you know, that really gums up the system for legitimate lawsuits that really should be heard, but you've got all these frivolous ones and those are the things that are chasing business out of California. We all need business to be here because we need jobs and we need economic growth for our children and our future. And we've got to streamline the process of regulation. Final question. If elected, what is the main accomplishment you would like to be known for during your term? Putting the power of government back in the hands of the people. I'm not running to get power. I'm running to give the power back to the people. I've got a proposal called the Neighborhood Legislature that makes it so that people get elected by going door to door and meeting their constituents. Yes. No more 30-second TV ads, no more attack, division, divisive politics. I want to get people who are elected, who are good people, who don't have to raise a lot of money, but just go door to door to get elected and, and meet their constituents. Then we'll have people that can do the right thing, that they won't have to worry about some interest group going after them with money and all these paid ads. If I have any mark on California is that 
we need to take back our government and get the special interest money and the interest groups out of control in Sacramento. You guys, I love what John had said earlier in uh, meetings that we've had. John loves the fact that local neighborhood government works the best. That when something happens in the neighborhood, it can emanate out to the city, to the county, to the state. Absolutely. You know what's awesome is that's a proven, that's nothing new. That's exactly no. how the colonial period the began. Founders. The founders did that. Imagine if on your street, you guys knew who your representative was for your community. Immediate accountability, Absolutely. immediate access to your official because that guy, that woman lives in your area. It's brilliant, it's biblical. If I had to give it a name, I'd give it, I've, I would give it the Nehemiah concept. Nehemiah put those who were responsible for building the wall in front of their own house. There you go. Why? Because if you build it in front of your own house, you're gonna build it stronger. And our technology allows it. Our technology, we have all these phones that we can communicate directly, so we can communicate with our people and bring people together even if they're not in the same room. Exactly. Hey, thanks for texting in your questions. Yeah. God bless you guys. Pray for the election, November 6th. Pray for California. And uh, let's see that John Cox uh, is our new governor. Vote your values.